In small cities like Winchester, the music industry is especially difficult to break into. Most bands from Winchester start off playing small gigs in small venues, yet very few actually make it any further. We wanted to find out what was limiting local talent from advancing their careers as musicians. One particular venue, The Railway, is notorious among bands and artists as a platform to launch their music careers. Manager Ben Perry told us about the talent that comes in. This is The Railway. The place has been going for about 20 years. We've seen so many artists kind of come through, from solo artists, Frank Turner, uh, Laura Marling. At the moment, I think certainly there's quite a high level of, of sort of quality of performance. The Winchester's always been a very great place for honing skills, which is why it's done really well. And there are some people who turn up who, who have no ambition to go beyond what they do. They just enjoy creating and getting a, a space to kind of be able to perform. We do various projects with under 16 year olds as well. And part of it's come teaching them the process of performing in a venue and what your expectations are. The railway has developed quite a strong reputation. I think people lock into that and they, they see the successes of other people that have been around. The gigging experience tends to be what brings people back. We have heard from Close to the Coast, a local band who has expressed their experience of launching their careers. I'm Matt and I'm Joe. Together we are Close to the Coast. It was literally about three months ago. We did a little mic night tour, uh, hit London, uh, Winchester, Portsmouth. From there on it was just heads down, just mm. make some music. We've yeah. only been focusing on the Winchester area so far. Yeah, I mean, to, to get ourselves out, so. <laughs> and I'd say Winchester's pretty lucky, uh, especially with the railway. Tap through his doors, likes the Libertines, uh, Laura Marling, Frank Turner, um, Razor Light. It's, it's, it becomes a lot easier now in this day and age with Twitter and Facebook. Go out there, go on tour, and just bug everyone you see and just tell them we're playing here tonight. Do you want to come down? I personally feel we're in a good location for mm. it. Not so further afield, Southampton's Pneumatic Gloves spoke about the opportunities that they have had when developing their music career. I'm Mark, I'm the lead guitarist in Pneumatic Love. And I'm Josh, and I'm the bass player. We're all musically minded, so we thought we'd put our resources together and yeah, yeah. start a band. Huh. Everywhere we've played is in Southampton. Join the us. Maritime Festival. I mean, the joiners is tiny, yeah. it, but it's good that way. That gives small bands a chance. There's a lot of cool stuff going on, and a lot of opportunities around here. Salisbury's got um, a college, because a friend of ours, he's doing a pretty big course, which is music. There's a college in Southampton that do specialist courses. We did do one thing, which is the Solent Music Festival at Solent University, and you'd have to try and advertise yourself, and then you'd go and do a show. And that was good fun, and they gave you like, expert help on how to book a gig and stuff like that. We looked into other cities throughout the country that have wider resources for aspiring artists. A large number of well-known music artists, such as Cole Plays, Chris Martin, Ben Howard, and Muse, all originate from the Plymouth area. The city boasts many music venues and music colleges that help new talent grow. We have Harriet Jones, folk singer and songwriter from Plymouth, who has been touring the country for the past few years. She's on the phone with us now. Hey, I'm Harriet Jones. I started just small local open mic nights and then I recorded some stuff and submitted it online and ended up getting into hot farm competitions. And I'd done a few kind of mini tours by myself, just booking gigs but then got in touch with my management and they kind of started organising the tours and they just kind of got better and better and it's been nice to go to some places that I've never been before. I think Plymouth has loads of really nice bars and venues that are kind of perfect for a showcasing music. Although Winchester is small, it seems that we do have some talent that managed to go beyond. I'm Nadija Parker and that's all for now.